How's it going everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson and in today's video I'm going to be going over how to order a drop down uh, that is related to a, another table. So for instance in this work orders table we have a column for employee. Now you'll notice we also have a table for employee. That is because this list is related to the employee table so that we can get information um, from employees and use it as a reference. So when we come in here, we can click on Benjamin Anderson and see that employee in their related work orders. So how then do we order this dropdown? When you first look at it, you might think this isn't in any order in particular. In actuality, as of right now, it's in the order in which these employees were added. So Benjamin added Anderson was added first and CJ Pi was added last. So to change this to an order that's more useful for users, for instance, your uh, alphabetical is going to be um, probably the optimal sorting for this, though there might be situations in your company where you might want it sorted differently. Um, we would need to go to the table that this column is in. So we can go down here and click on work order, which will bring up the table and hit view columns. Here we can see the employee column uh, and hit the edit pencil. So what we're going to need to do is use the valid if um, statement. Um, in here, excuse me, we're going to need to use the valid if section to put in our formula. So first we need to start with the list we're wanting. So we know we want to come from the employee table and we want the ID from that table. So here we have our list. Next we're going to use an expression in lists called order by. You can see right here. Order by takes a list of keys or a refer list, which is what we have here, and orders it by the column you want. So first we want to sort by last name. Now we could stop there if we wanted. It'll default the optional parameter descending order um, to false so that this is in ascending order which means we're going from A to Z um, and that will be fine. If you aren't sure what columns you need you can use the crew tools chrome extension uh, to find out what the names of your columns are in your other table. Now assume you have two people with the same last name and you want to also sort by first name. To do that we would first say false for this optional parameter, use descending order one, which will tell us that we want last name in ascending order. And then we put the name of the second column that we want to sort by, which is first name. And we will also say false here. Now again, this false, this trailing false is optional, but if you have a second column, you do have to put this one in. So if I take this out for a second, you'll notice that we get an error uh, because it is looking for the third parameter to be a yes, no, or a true false. And so we'll just put that back in. So we're saying we want to sort by last name first and we want it to be ascending. And then if the last names are the same, we want to sort by first name and we want that to be ascending as well. So when I save this, hit done and then save the app, we will be able to see these changes reflected in the app itself. So we're in the same view, we click employee and we see that we are now sorted by last name. And then when we have two last names that are the same, you see that we are sorted by first name. And that is how you sort a list that's coming from another table by the columns in the table it's coming from. Uh, it's relatively easy. You just have to remember that you're actually doing the sorting on the data side and not on the UX side. Usually when people are having a problem with this, I find that they're trying to find the answer here in UX and it's actually in data because we're trying to sort a column. And that's going to be it for this video. If you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to throw them in the comments below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.